Lac La Biche, a community known for its tough and talented brand of hockey, and for the Portage College Voyageurs, hard-hitting hockey has been the recipe for success this year. The Voyageurs find themselves firmly in fourth place with two weeks remaining in the regular season. Tonight, they face their rivals, the Concordia Thunder, a team looking to steal home ice advantage away from them. Although they would give the fans something to cheer about, the end result failed to equal two points in the standings. Knowing that a date with the lead leading, Nate Ooks, was fast approaching, the Voyagers needed to put in a solid week of practice. Players also find time to volunteer in the community, playing floor hockey with the kids and making friends with new fans. For ACAC leading scorer Corey Drew, it's a time to unwind before the game. Both teams battle hard, not willing to give an inch, but it's the Voyagers who strike first with a goal by Richard Cameron, set up beautifully by Matt Gray. Gray takes plenty of abuse every weekend doing the dirty work as he walks off another painful shift. Hard hits would lead to a thrilling finish at the Bolt Centre, but again, the ending result doesn't hold well for the Voyagers. going to give them the two points. For two periods, you battled hard, and in the third period, a couple breakdowns, and I mean, that's the difference, but you did just didn't go over and die. There was some emotion out there. <coughs> you can't play with just your sticks up. Sometimes you have to get down and dirty, and this is one of those times. We may not be playing these guys, and you never know if we possibly can. This is something they'll remember, absolutely. And it's not really the trademark of this team, but sometimes you have to push back, not to get embarrassed. And today was one of those days. They might not like it, they're not supposed to like it. Sorry. But ultimately, it's what we needed to do to bring the team together, and now from here we pursue it. Tomorrow we basically play a hard game, we don't let up, and that doesn't mean scrapping that, that means competing hard all over. And after that, we get ready for the playoffs. Alright? Okay. The team gets ready for their last regular season game, boarding the bus to Edmonton to take on the Nadukes for a second time.
we go. Opening draw goes forward. Nate's just tips it ahead there. Down and takes a look. Backhand. Rebound there. And Zavados comes up with two big stops right there. Again, an unlucky play for the Voyagers as LeBron went down to block a shot. It went off his shin pads right off to an open defenseman yeah, who had Peluso, a wide open shot. Yeah, Peluso came in and tucked it in underneath the bar. And... It wasn't the result they wanted, but spirits are high as the Voyagers head for home. And sometimes the post game meal can be a harder struggle than the game. Okay, we have there's way more cheese up here. What's that? Who wants cheese? Well, there's only pep here, is what I'm saying, man. Okay, well, here's the cheese. Holy hell, is that going over Time management is important when you have to juggle hockey and full time classes. This is Kirby Halko's first season in uh, ACAC hockey. Um, they had to sign him on to an apprenticeship program and find an employer for him in order to get him into, into the programs that we offer. Um, Cody Mapes, on the other hand, came through our pre-employment welding program and then managed to find himself an employer, got hired on as a first-year apprentice, and then went through the entire system, right, right through the whole apprenticeship system. Very motivated to, to get through our program. Um, it's, it's a really, really good win-win situation for them. Um, in that if they if they start with us and they come at a pre-employment level when they complete the pre-employment program we give them the opportunity to write off their first year technical training which which makes them a lot more hireable to go to an employer and, and, and basically say I'm I, I've completed the Portage College pre-employment welding program um, I was a, a success at that so basically I'm, I'm teachable and because I'm teachable and trainable I'm now more hireable than the average Joe that's just coming off the street with no experience at all. They still come out with an education that they can use. Now Watt gets an opportunity, gets in there, takes a look, takes a shot, rebounds right there, and oh, Popwich again hitting the outside of the post. Comes right there, and again, Halcrow makes another save. 20 seconds remaining in this third period. Thunder now definitely going to get the one game advantage here. The Voyagers play their skilled and tough style of hockey, taking it to the Thunder. But in the end, costly mistakes would lead to a disappointing result. 